would be doing is reducing the total service budget by those funds we've identified from these two federal sources and saying that the level service budget is less by that amount, which can be treated almost like a level one cut, depending on how you like to do your math. So let me give you another, for instance, for instance hypothetical. You, you happen to be negotiating a contract with a group, with whether, whether it's teachers, powers, whatever. You negotiate that contract, you agree to terms, it costs a certain amount of money. Can you pay, not that I would recommend this, but can you pay those increases out of a federal grant? I don't see how you could. You'd have to find you have to find other money other in, the, offsets in the budget where you could offset it and then to make up for that money. For that reason. Okay. So under the AIA, AIA, you should be able to spend half of that to maintain teachers that you wouldn't have. Right, but then you're paying them through a grant and not paying them through your budget. Right. Yeah, I agree with how they've characterized that. You have to find it in your budget first, and not only because those are the guidelines, but also because that wouldn't have been in your original grant application. We're really going to have to think very thoughtfully about how this grant application is written because we have to follow those rules. Jerry? I expect Steve came down here for a reason. <laughs> and if he's got something that can enlighten us, I'd be more than happy he's to hear from him. That's why he's he coming, asked he's Steve. He came for a party. He came for a party. That's what I was thinking too when he first walked out. I was hoping he was going to see him. Yeah, we should. If you wouldn't mind my sharing a flighting thought. Go ahead. Part of what's going on with this money is that um, there is a kind of broad hope that the economy will have rebounded in a couple of years. And the idea is that if we didn't have this money now, there would have to be massive layoffs. It would be possible to stave that off for a couple of years anyway. If the economy doesn't turn around, well, we'll have to deal with it then. But if the economy does turn around, we won't have to deal with the layoffs. So when I'm working with my budget at Salem State, we're trying to apply these monies in ways that will not allow the problem to be worse two years down the road, but will allow us to, to do as much as we can right now. Uh, so it, it, it's a delicate balance, and I don't know exactly what rules you're working with. I know they're different in K through 12 than they are in higher ed, so I'm going to limit my comments to what I've just said. that we're, we're somewhere between a budget of 23,659,000 and 23,079,000 right now. We're, we're somewhere, I'm not. I think we should just ask for <laughs> Well, some of us are. I'm I not think, somewhere between. Let's just ask for even 25 million and leave it there. So you're, you're still with the 23,659. Yeah, basically. And, 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 and maybe we can talk, you know, I, I, I'm just, I, I don't, I don't want to get too much into the detail because of the sensitivity Correct. of the graph of salaries. When we talk about that in the executive session, we talk about negotiations yeah. tonight. Um, we have to vote on a budget at our next meeting unless we have a... I think we should. Right. What, what I, I think Maureen has mentioned this, I'd like to see more detail on how we could supplement some of our existing budget with the IDEA funds Maybe there'll be more clarity on the ARRA funds by our next meeting. Can at please hold out some hope that there might be more clarity. And then we can take a vote. I clearly understand where Jerry's coming from um, because we almost will be backing ourselves into some level of a corner if we go with that lower, lower number. Simpler, the simple way to consider this is the total amount of the IDA and the ARA divided by two. Mm -hmm. So it's 840 and uh, 860, right? 640. What? 860? 860. 640. 640. Um, 1.5 1.5. Divide that by two. Yeah. 750. Right. And then take half of it. Right. So I mean, 
that's probably that's the safest within a, the safest way for right now that you could apply you could you could s probably safely take that money and reduce your budget your your level services budget by that amount and because you know you would pick up what you would need out of those those two other pots but that 375k isn't going to get us anywhere close to where we if it is half of the 750, 375,000, is it going to get us anywhere close to closing the budget gap? Well, it well it gets us. I mean, it gets you about close it by 35 percent. 40 percent. Yes, Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we we will. I think the next meeting, um, based on whatever numbers you come up with, if you, is there, there is any more clarity with how we can spend this money, um, we're probably going to have to look at some of these tier, these tiered cuts in level two that David has proposed. Let's see if we need to make them. And, and then go from there. So I don't think we're ready to take a vote tonight. Okay. Okay. Any other comments on the budget? Other than I think the one thing we're all in, uh, we're all unified on tonight is if we don't want to cut any positions. And we've, right. been, we've been unified on that all along. Yep. So that's, I think that's a good sign. <laughs> All right, great. Thanks, David. All right. Next, we have uh, bills and payrolls done. done. Minutes. We have one set of minutes, and I had one minor correction. I had on page two, um, right in the middle there between one and two, it says the little school presentation ended at 8 p.m. That should just go at the bottom after number three, because one, two, and three are all the little school. Oh, okay. That's the only thing I have. Oh, um, first page it was the little school cafetorium, not the library. Oh, that's right. Cafetorium. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Cafe library. Oh, uh, the last page, uh, the last sentence of number three. That says, Mr. Crochet has outlined a tentative plan and asked the school committee to consider its relaxation of the no cost requirement. I think it means it's supposed to be to consider a relaxation of the no cost requirement. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. You said A? Yeah. yeah. Uh, motion to mm -hmm. with those amendments. Second. Um, motion by Ms. Bacher, seconded by Mr. Powers. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yes. Okay. Um, Nothing on, no budget update, Carl? No. Staffing, David? Um, no. Um, bits and donations? No. Um, subcommittee updates? Whoops. And then uh, administrative reports? Is there anything you want to highlight? Here? I do. Uh, just a, a minute. Uh, you have some uh, very nice uh, posters here. And uh, we actually have 40 of this collection. Uh, uh, Ed Rizmarek, the assistant principal at the high school, uh, earlier submitted a grant through the um, National Endowment for the Humanities. And the title of this grant is Picturing America. And uh, each of our schools, we received this, this grant uh, through Ed, as a result of Ed's uh, application, and each of the schools will receive the set of 40 uh, prints these are, these are wonderful prints starting from actually um, uh, Native early American uh, uh, art through pottery uh, all the way up to contemporary time. Um, and I've just put up some, uh, you know, some of the examples. Uh, we have uh, a Winslow Homer here. Uh, we have uh, an Edward Hopper. And we're, there are uh, teacher resources. Uh, that and lessons that go along with this will be using this with our in our art in our, our classrooms and history uh, and uh, it's it's just a, a wonderful resource that um, we're going to be uh, giving our students and our staff um, so thank you mr. Rosemary um, secondly you have uh, the updated utilities usage report uh, and uh, this is uh, calls effort to uh, really give data and it shows how when you present the data and uh, you let people know about it uh, people get pretty excited about it and uh, we continue to show natural gas 
and electricity uh, usage with a friendly competition among the, the five schools. There's no real tangible awards. I, I don't think we're giving out any prizes other than, I guess, the can't prize freeze. Of, of being Breaking named prizes. as no, the, no uh, prizes. the budget freeze. The, yeah. the budget yeah. freeze. <laughs> um, and then lastly, uh, I know everyone in the last uh, week has been, or well, last couple of days, is hearing about the outbreak of uh, swine flu. In Mexico. Uh, it's yes. in Mexico, it's in the United States, it's California. in Spain, it's in New Zealand, uh -huh. Australia, Europe. Um, and the today, the Mass Department of Public Health uh, released um, some factual information, sent it out to all schools. Uh, so I've given you a copy of that. We're going to be posting that information on our website. Uh, this is not to raise any alarms, it's just to provide uh, information. And um, we'll keep, uh, obviously, staff and uh, students and parents uh, apprised of any further uh, information. Um, but, uh, you know, it is, it is of concern. Uh, it is personally, my son was going to be traveling to Mexico City today on business, so that was canceled yesterday. My so son's on a trip there on uh, so that's it, the administrator report. Great. So before, Dave, do we have a need for a quick executive session? No, I don't think we do either. No. Motion to adjourn. Well, first of all, I want to again thank Nicole. <laughs> We're sparing you an executive session on your wow. last official meeting. Okay. And I do want to give Cole yeah. a round, a round of applause. Thinking Nicole for getting us out of here at nine o'clock. Yeah, that is. Right. This is a, <laughs> Steve, Steve Van Beaver would have been a happy soul if he was on the committee um, because you're getting us out at nine. Who was attorney for editing? Uh, motion did. by Mrs. Vaca. Do we have a second? second? I'll second. 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 Nicole should make, Nicole should make the motion. Right. Nicole, Nicole, give the motion. Motion to Nicole. Yeah. Seriously. Second to Mrs. Vaca. Okay. All right. I think that's appropriate. All right. All right. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you. Were you surprised that the kids are here? Yeah. Oh, 9 o'clock. They were well I love this. So I love those. It goes right for the book. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Jerry and I are only half a million dollars off, so that would be not. No, I